Singapore is a small island smack right in the middle of Southeast Asia and it is filled with treasures. What treasures, you ask? Well, let me show you. I am Bargo MJ. Today, we will be finding wildlife at the heart and centre of Singapore. Yes, there is wildlife in the busiest areas of Singapore. Right across the iconic skyline of Singapore lies Gardens by the Bay, a world-famous man-made nature park. However, hidden within this park is actually a whole bunch of treasures, our wildlife. This nature park is made up of three big gardens, so I expect to see a lot of garden birds here. Like that yellow vetter boo over there! This is a really cute bird that you can find in most parks and gardens of Singapore. It is named the yellow vented boo boo because of the yellow patch near its vent which is basically its bum. Let's go! Can you see that bird pecking over there? That's a zebra dove! Doves and pigeons actually refer to the same group of birds and there are many species of them around. The familiar rock pigeons, the colourful pink neck green pigeons, the majestic pipe imperial pigeon, the precious common emerald dove, and of course, the one we are looking at right now, the zebra dove. Interestingly, I always see them in pairs. Bye-bye, doves. Bye-bye. I can't dance. There's a bunch of carpenter bees buzzing around here. They may look very big and scary, but they are actually very gentle creatures. They just make a lot of noise. Like me. There's a small bird fluttering around. I think it's a sunbird. Sunbirds, like the very cute olive-backed sunbird we are looking at right now, can be found in many of our parks and gardens. They drink nectar from flowers and can act as pollinators for some of the plants. Let's go! Oh, oh okay, that way. There's a hidden wild animal over here. Lion. Rawr. <laughs> Can you hear that? There's a group of black nip Oreo right above us. One thing about this garden that makes it different from other gardens in Singapore is the scale and diversity of its landscape. Because of that, we are able to find different animals in different parts of the garden. Those are tailor birds! These are the ashy tailor birds, and they are mainly found in mangrove area, but the ashy tailor birds here in Singapore have also adapted to live in some of our parks and gardens, especially where there are large bodies of water. There are a couple of water bodies peppered all around the park with the dragonfly lake being the biggest one. Here, we can find many wildlife that have adapted to living in or near the water. Right below here on the surface of the water is a pond skater! The pond skater is a very cool insect that can walk on water. Bye bye pond skater! Wow! There's a number of golden apple snails around here. The golden apple snail is an invasive species of freshwater snail that does not have natural predators here. These are also the very snails that lay the infamous pink, gooey-looking eggs. Oh, there's one over there! The eggs are poisonous, so nothing really eats them. Look at the pink, gooey eggs. They're stuck all over this rock. Since this is called the Dragonfly Lake, there's bound to be a lot of dragonflies around. Look! One, two, three, four, five! That dragonfly perching over there is known as a common parasol and you can find them easily in your urban parks and gardens. We are going to the waterfront site right now behind the dome over there. A striated heron. This small shower is often seen near drains and other water bodies catching little fishes. Look! There's a family of lesser whistling ducks over there. They are really cute 
and are one of only two known resident species of wild duck still present in Singapore. They are shy waterfowls that prefer freshwater wetlands, especially shallow ponds like this one, where they spend much of their time foraging for food in close-knit family flocks. It's a swinho's white eye. These birds have bills that are relatively short and straight, and they are known to consume a variety of food, including berries and small insects. What are you finding? That statue over there is a kingfisher. Kingfishers are a common sight in many of Singapore's parks and gardens and they are often very spectacular looking. We have seen the brightly coloured white collared kingfisher previously and other than that, we can also sometimes find the more uncommon white-throated kingfisher and stock-built kingfisher. There are also many trees in this area which might contain some hidden wildlife amongst them. This is so cool guys, there is a snake on top of the signboard. Can you see, can you see? It's right there. That is a golden tree snake. Golden tree snakes are fully arboreal snakes. This means that they live their entire life on trees in which they navigate through the branches with ease using their slender body. These snakes look similar to the paradise tree snakes we saw in Sungai Bulo in the previous episode, but they are a completely different species. The golden tree snake enjoys a meal of lizards, insects, rodents and even other snakes. And I'm looking at one of his favourite meals right there. That's a brown anole. These brown anoles are not originally native to Singapore, but like many other introduced species found here, this lizard has established its presence all around the garden. The male of this species has a bright orange dewlap, which is a flap of skin below their throat. They will flash it once in a while to attract females, but also to scare off predators because it will make the lizard look bigger. Talking about lizards, there's a Malayan water monitor lizard over there. This is the largest living lizard you can find in Singapore and although it can sometimes look threatening, they usually just leave us alone as long as we don't disturb them. There is a male Asian koel right behind me and some of you might know it as the Uru bird. Ooh! Other than being noisy little fellas, Asian koels are pretty interesting because the male koel and female koel looks wildly different. Oh, there's a sonar pygmy woodpecker right there. There are many species of woodpeckers in Singapore and the Sunda Pygmy Woodpecker is the one that has truly adapted to this city in nature. I've seen them in almost every park and garden I've explored. That is a black crowned night heron perching on a branch. Walking along the waterfront of the garden, we see a whole different environment, one that is more open with grass, shrubs and ferns. There are so many Pacific swallows flying above me right now. Pacific swallows are small, fast, insect-eating birds that live and hunt around coastal areas. These birds hunt by zooming around in the air, snagging any unfortunate flying insects. There are many insects flying around in this area, which is probably the reason why the Pacific swallows are here. And guess what we found? Right here and here, flying termites are emerging and heading towards the sky, feeding the Pacific swallows. This moment is called the nuptial flight. During mating season, all future king and queen termites will leave the nest to mate because of the sheer number of them leaving the nest all at once. It is also the perfect time for insectivores such as the Pacific swallows to have an easy meal. Look! There's a couple of scaly breasted munias hopping around in the tall grass over there. Munias are small, grassland dwelling birds that specialize in eating grains. There are a few different species of munias seen in Singapore and the scaly breasted is one of the most commonly found ones. You might have even seen one yourself before. Look, there's a white-breasted water hen over there. Believe it or not, their young have fully darkened feathers. Remember, even though these animals are living amongst us, they are still wildlife, so we should keep our distance in order not to stress them out. Turtles over here, turtles over there. Which is real, which is fake? I don't know. There's a smooth-coated otter swimming in the water there! Its head was popping up and down! Smooth-coated otters are often seen in large family groups in Singapore, roaming around different parts of the island nation. The otter that we just saw is most likely a lone male. He had probably left his family group to look for a mate to start another family together. Being right next to a huge water body with an abundance of fish means that this garden is the perfect home for the smooth-coated otters. 
Did you know that our otters used to be locally extinct in the past? But after we cleaned up our rivers and waterways, the environmental conditions improved and our otters came back. Oh, there he goes. Oh well, bye-bye. Wow, that was amazing. I knew there was wildlife here, but I did not expect such a huge variety. Well kids, as our exciting journey comes to an end, let's take a moment to cherish the precious treasures we've discovered today. Our incredible wildlife. From the ones that buzz, to the ones that saw, from the ones that hunt, to the ones that are being hunted, each of these treasures from Mother Nature herself plays an important role in the world. Together, they form a beautiful world that would otherwise be pretty dull. Remember to do our part and take care of nature so that we can continue to enjoy all these treasures around us. That is all for today's episode of Wildlife Treasure Hunt. Join me next time for more adventures. Bye-bye!